Good morning, YouTube. It is the start of the day when all good people are making their morning cup of coffee. Okay, and as it would happen, I just happened to have some freshly ground coffee and some rolling boiling water. So we are gonna pour that boiling water over those fresh grounds. And we're just gonna work those grounds down into the filter as the coffee goes through the filter. Try to squeeze as much of that delicious coffee flavor as possible out of the coffee. And we're at the half cup point. It always slows down. Okay, so I think I can add just a little more hot water so that I get a fairly full cup. Don't need the heat on anymore. Okay, so let me slide this over here out of the way and I will show you how I finished my latest, greatest project, which is the replacement skylight. And here it is. So now, is that cool or is that not cool? I've been looking at the stars through that thing at night and it will open up just like that. Oh, that's a good gust of wind up here too. I'm gonna put you here so I can climb up there. Okay. So there you can see there is quartzite way down there in the distance. There's Lori's Kenworth T400 and his uh, big toy hauler trailer. There's Paul's van there. So we're waking up to a brisk 38 degrees is what it says on the AccuWeather. And Hobo Camp is down there somewhere. I think he is the trailer straight down there with the big phone cell phone booster pull up there. Alright, well, let's go back down because it's kind of hard for me to hold that position. Yeah, but it's cold. Okay. Okay. So there you go. I'm just going to let it drop down. I still have to get a latch for it over here. But um, working good. I love it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna stand the camera back up here and check how the progress of my coffee is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I actually ended up with a little bit more than I was anticipating. Add a little milk right up to the rim. It's time to get some milk. I'm almost out. It's time to go to the store. I'm almost out of everything. Okay. Quick stir. Ah, oh, boy, that's nice. Okay, so here's what is going to happen this morning. I am going to make some Fisher scone mix. 
And so, since this is a mix, not from scratch, technically, it's not an episode of Iron Truck Hyper Chef, because it is a mix, not scratch. But, what I am going to do is, I've got some really, really good extra fancy medjool dates from Imperial Farms. And it is really good stuff. If you ever get down near Yuma, I would say go into the store there and get yourself one of their date shakes. They are delicious. Okay. So the oven is warming up. And then also, along with the dates, I'm going to chop up some pecans and throw those in there too. So that should be pretty good. We'll have fresh scones and uh, get the morning started. So today's the day that I'm going to run down and get my new solar system. Uh, a little more money than I want to spend, but it will go forward into our next truck camper, RV, whatever I end up getting and uh, I can transplant from here into that. So we're going to go lithium battery with the Life Blue and the Life Blue because they are self-heating batteries but they will take an outside source of energy like the solar panel or uh, a running vehicle to warm the batteries before they warm themselves with their own power. So that's kind of a nice option. Um, okay, well let me get started on the mixing up our scones here. So I'm gonna pause you for a second. Okay, we are going to get our pecans chopped up here. the lid of the stove down so I can use it as a table. It's not a strong table but it will serve its purpose. All right so now let's take the dates apart. Remember dates have a pit you need to get rid of that. so tasty. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and slice and dice. Themselves, each other. off my hands real quick.
Okay. Okay, so let's go mix. Three quarters cup water plus two tablespoons of water. Three quarters plus two tablespoons. Now let us mix. And this is supposed to stir up into just a sticky ball. Oops, I didn't mean to spill. Turn up on all three. Just about the perfect scone consistency. Okay. So now I need to get some flour. cutting board over here. Let's see, I just know this is going to make a mess, but such is life. Well, oh, oven to four and a quarter. Chips is your friend. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take our stuff here and we're going to put it on half of this. Yeah, it's just a workout pretty good. Okay. Now, we fold our dough over. Put 
press it out again. <clears throat> All right, well, this is working out very, very nicely. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to put the rest of this on one half of it here. And then we'll fold over and press out again. Camera went and shut off on me again. Stupid camera. Okay, we are recording. This camera has been known to pull dirty tricks on me and not do what it's supposed to do. Okay, let's fold this back over. Perfect. 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 Okay. Then we need to press it out again. Oh, I love scones. So tasty. And they're really very simple to make. My friend Layla is a scone addict. I made her scones once upon a time and she has been out of control ever since. Okay. Now we are going to cut this into thirds, and then we're going to make little mounted balls, and then we're going to cut those into quarters, and then we're going to pop the little delicacies into the oven, where they will soon be known as yum yum. Okay, so let's form this into a ball. All mounted in the center. Okay. Let's do it with this one here too. Just kind of scrunch it up and pack it together. edge there so it doesn't stick to my hand. Okay. Look at this deliciousness. Okay, now we're going to kind of scrunch these and dome these is what we're doing. We're going to dome them. Baking pan and some aluminum 
foil. Do these in the into quarters. So there's one, two. Okay, let's put these over here. Sweet. There's enough room to make these in one run. These heathens ought to be extremely appreciative of this. And you can see how the dates and nuts are worked nicely through there okay and into the oven we go 425 degrees and they only need to be in there for 10 to 12 minutes serve with butter oh yeah butter okay where did my Clip go there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to clean up, and you can uh, wait until they come out of the oven. the 15 minute mark for these scones now that's about as long as I want these things cooking uh, so yeah they got a little bit of golden brown on top so let's uh, pull them out of there and see what we get here with the dates and nuts chopped on it and grab that looks like a good scone Mm -hmm. 
Let's pull our skin apart. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Very nice indeed. And just shove our butter on in there because uh, butter and scones just go together. Okay. get a bite here and see what we think of this. Bite ready? Here it goes. Mmm. Lordy, that is good. I just don't know if I can share these. Let me get some coffee. Ah, perfect combination. Coffee and scones. Okay, so there you go. Um, date and pecan scones. And it is from Fisher. Fisher Fair Scones. They're like the tastiest scones on the planet. Normally you just make them plain, put in some butter and raspberry jam. That's where they serve them at the fair. And they are the best. Um, all right, so there you go. There was a quick impromptu iron truck hamper shelf. Not really, because it was a mix, not from scratch. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you on the next video.